An Ebola epidemic was declared in Guinea-Conakry on March 22nd. This is the first time that the virus has been detected in the country. MSF has set up an isolation facility for suspected cases in Gekidu and is preparing to do the same in Masenta. Both cities are in the region of Guinea Forestière and the southern part of the country. The Ministry of Health has recorded nearly 90 suspected cases to date, including approximately 60 deaths. Ebola is a rare but serious illness and is often deadly. Ebola spreads quickly through direct contact with infected individuals or animals. There is no treatment for the Ebola fever and it is fatal in 25 to 90 percent of cases. The Ebola virus causes a raging fever, headaches, muscle pain, conjunctivitis and general weakness. The next phase involves vomiting, diarrhea and sometimes a rash. Ebola is very contagious. Ebola is contagious by the fluids of a patient with Ebola. C'est pour ça on doit éviter d'être en contact avec le fluide euh, d'un patient. Donc le fluide, ça veut dire le vomissement, la diarrhée, le sang, euh, la salive, euh, la sueur. Donc euh, pour nous protéger, on a des vêtements spéciaux. Donc on a tout. On a des bottes, on a le pantalon comme ça, on a le apron, on a le masque. Parce que quand tu parles avec un patient, et il y a des euh, salives. Euh, c'est aussi très contagieux, donc c'est pour ça qu'on a le masque. On a deux euh, paires de gants, un euh, normal et un surgical. Et aussi après on va mettre euh, le Google. Et après nous sommes prêts à entrer. Although there is no cure for this disease, we can reduce its very high mortality by addressing the symptoms. For example, we put patients who are dehydrated from diarrhea on a drip. We give patients vitamins and pain medication, especially when we are dealing with a hopeless case. At this point, we ease the patient's pain and stay with them until the end. It's very difficult to see the suffering of the patients sans pouvoir faire quelque chose. It's very difficult to see the patients mourir. Together with the local community, MSF is also focusing on tracing people who may have been infected by contact with already identified patients. Affected communities must also be informed about the illness and the precautions to be taken to limit risks of contamination. Basic hygiene, such as washing one's hands, can greatly reduce the risk of transmission.